So guys, in today's video I want to talk to you about perfume that I've already mentioned in a couple of my recent videos, but since I cannot stop wearing this new release from the French niche house Le Parfums Rosin called Bulle de Rose, I feel like it deserves its own review. So make sure to keep on watching to find out what's so special about it, and before we jump right in, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy to discover new fragrances. And once you're done with that, we can get started! it. Welcome everyone to the review on probably my most worn fragrance at this point, which is Bulle de Rose from Le Parfums de Rosine, which is an amazing French niche house that specializes in creating rose perfumes. So in case it happens to be your favorite note, you definitely need to check them out because there is a rose in all of their products. And I have a couple of their perfumes, which I've already reviewed for you guys. And this is their newest release which looks so cute. Just check out this bottle. It's almost like a lacquer and the pale pink, the pale blue and white definitely inspired my look today, as you can probably tell. And this is what I reach out for every day. And it's among my daily fragrance rotation, you know, those easy to grab perfumes and be at the door. But I guess there wasn't a day recently that I wouldn't wear it. So probably Probably that clearly shows how much I love it and that's why I decided to give it a shout out and create a full review on this beautiful, of course, rosy scent. And I would like to first read you the official description of it and then discuss. Bulle de Rose, both playful and chic, sophisticated and fiery, exudes the youthful grace and subtle elegance of a sophisticated woman. A spray of Bulle de Rose, like a joyful burst of life, is the last step in the final touch before starting her day. Bulle de Rose is a fragrance combining the sparkling scents of bergamot and black currant with the sweetness of a soap accord, all carried by a rose absolute. So that kind of gives you an idea and I would totally agree with this description because it's a very chic and sophisticated, elegant type of a rosy scent that is both clean, floral and actually powdery. And it's very interesting because there is this note of bergamot which brings in freshness, although you can't really pick up much of citrus element, rather the fruitiness that comes from black currant. And this is a very new black currant type of scent to me personally, although I'm very much familiar with this note, but in the majority of fragrances I've ever experienced it in, it is rather fruitiness and in here it smells like frozen berries. So overall feeling of this fragrance is rather chilly to me personally and maybe that is because of soap which plays such an important role in this entire composition making it clean and sparkling and because of the rose addition it reminds me almost like of a fruity rose bar of soap and uh, the only fragrance in this similar and um, kind of soapy style would be Bubble Bath from Mason Margiela, which I've already reviewed for you guys. And probably this is like a modern soapy accord that replaces traditional aldehydes, which are very, you know, clean and sparkling and these days old-fashioned smelling. Most uh, well-known fragrance with them would be Chanel Number no. 5, but this has nothing in common with that legendary scent because it smells modern, it smells new, the soapiness in here is clean, but it's different kind of soapiness. It smells uh, very refined and there is note of tomato leaf, which I find is so extraordinary because, you know, if you've ever been in a garden and smelled tomatoes really growing on, on, on the bushes or where do they grow, um, and you smell the tomato leaf, it has a very like sharp green and particular type of scent. And although you cannot really smell anything vegetal in here, I feel like this sharpness comes from black currant, from the rose, because on its own it, it is quite sharp. And the soap with tomato leaf definitely adds a lot of power to it. 
there is a really nice powderiness in the dry down which is not always noticeable to me and that's funny because I'm a big fan of powdery perfumes but this is not the typical musky powderiness I don't know from which element it comes but it's very very uh, light although noticeable and I really like how this fragrance makes me feel throughout the day that is probably one of the reasons why I wear it so often because it changes it opens up really really bright and it's like a joyful burst of life indeed but then i enjoy the soapiness that it makes me feel clean and fresh throughout the day and it dries down into this very elegant powdery scent and although it is marketed towards women plus this bottle i feel like even men could wear it benny personally really enjoys it i sprayed it today on my um, hair and he was like really into it so this fragrance is special because first of all it has bold character which I really appreciate in perfumes because it is recognizable and it is unique, very modern and at the same time classy smelling. Second of all I really adore this bottle, it is so pretty and uh, it definitely makes me want to grab it and wear it. And third reason why I really, really love this perfume is because it performs amazingly, being not overwhelmingly strong yet long-lasting with nice sillage, noticeable throughout the day. I find that this is a perfect signature scent type of perfume that I think is great for winter time probably because i discovered for myself during the cold weather although because it has this chilly fresh cool vibe it might work as a summer perfume as well so just in case you like the description you like how the notes sound and also its idea it is worth to be checked out you guys because you cannot go wrong with it and uh, yes it's my go-to perfume i wear it every day to work it is very easy going and uh I am obsessed. So that was my review on Bulle de Rose. By the way, please let me know what does this name mean. And if you have ever heard of this brand, please let me know your experience with it. And what do you think about this one after my review? I would love to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions left, I'm here to answer them. So go ahead and leave your comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for more health information like discounts and my previous reviews on the Parfums Rosé. And since this is my most worn fragrance at the moment, I would like to find out what's yours. So let's chat guys and thank you so much for watching. If there are any other video ideas on your mind, then please share them with me and I would like to film something that you guys are interested in. And if you would like to get more content from me, you can always follow me on my social media. And with that being said, make sure to check out this perfume and please stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye.